It's Season 8's Community Day and Sea of Thieves, and we're going to celebrate its arrival by doing something that, to my knowledge, has never been done before. Swim to every island in Sea of Thieves. And we're going to attempt to do it without dying. Like that. I'm going to go on record here and say I don't know if I can actually finish this challenge. Sea of Thieves has a multitude of dangers that surround the player at any given time. I've already died 654 times, but... I'm committed. And so is our good friend and second cameraman Lee Cross here, who's joining us to provide some great alternative shots. There are a few dangers that I want to highlight here as the biggest perils to completing our journey. First, volcanoes, specifically in the Devil's Roar. Also, sharks, everywhere in the water, spawning on top of you all the time. Can't forget about sirens either. They're a nuisance, a big one. But there's also one more danger you want to keep in mind but I'll let the video speak for this one. You are kidding me. A Meg just spawned on you. <laughs> you see, Lee Cross was navigating with our sloop, the Bardcore Beauty, when a Meg spawned right underneath him. And I know it would have been cool to dive right for the Meg and engage in swordplay with the beastie, but that's a different challenge. For this one, I had to get as far away as possible fast, since Meg spawned additional sharks, which means a quick death for yours truly. We had a journey to complete. Let's get to it. We started in the Devil's Roar, making our way from island to island. The plan was simple. Crisscross between islands going west, then coming back east. I wasn't allowing myself to use any mechanism to help with the journey, other than food and ammo resupplies found on the islands. That means I didn't use any cannon emplacements on islands to try and speed up the journey. The key to success in this, if you want to try it yourself, revolves around food. Make sure to have a full supply at all times. Raid barrels, rowboats, and most importantly, use the animals the game gives you. Whether it's shark, snake, chicken or pig, it's all health for your pirate. Some, though not all, of the islands have campfires that you can use to cook the meats. This will give you a little bit of a break between islands, but most importantly, allow you to maximize on your health opportunity, because trust me, you're gonna need it. We pressed onward. Sirens and sharks were the biggest of our worries. Shark bites take a total of 50% of your health from you, so it's important to act fast to recover at least a portion of it before it attacks again and wipes you out completely. Sirens don't deal as much damage directly to you in one go, but get a couple of those monsters in a melee group and forget to block, and you'll soon see your health melt away. Other creatures we had to worry about were coral monsters and skeletons, though we could dodge those far easier on an island than we can in water. The specter on the horizon was always another player ship, though. If we encountered one in the wild, would we be able to escape from it undetected? Lastly, and in the end, the biggest problem the longer this challenge went on was time. You cannot pause Sea of Thieves. You can't create a save point. If you're away from your keyboard for more than 15 minutes, the game will kick you out but I was not going to do this over multiple days. In my mind, this would only count if it was done in one session, one go. So the journey continued. Hours passed, 11, 12, 13, we did not stop. We were on the final leg of our journey, just a few islands at the north of the map, a mix between wilds and shores of plenty locations left. We were also running low on meat since there was little in the way of a campfire up there, so we had to subsist on just what we could find in barrels. Plenty more sirens and sharks to oppose us, and I was fading fast. It was near 6 a.m. my time, and I had been up for nearly 24 hours because I just didn't think it was going to take this long. But my reddened eyes gazed onto the screen and I beheld its glory. And after 14 hours straight in the seas, we at last reached our destination. 
this was the most difficult challenge I have ever done playing Sea of Thieves. The swimming itself was not a problem, but the seas are vast and far larger than I had originally anticipated. We killed over 150 sharks during the course of this adventure, and I know you all are wondering, did I do it? Did I manage to swim to every island without dying? No. Unfortunately, we have chalked up one, yes, one more death to our pirate's milestone tracker. And yes, I am furious about it because it was my fault. It was about eight hours in at the Shrine of Flooded Embrace. I was just about to enter inside when a shark bit me and for some reason, I thought there was a shield at the entrance hole that the shark couldn't pass through. But I still consider this a major personal accomplishment. It's not anyone who can say that they've swam the seas, but at least there will be one pirate who can. And that is a cause for dance. Thank you so much for watching, and until the next adventure, this is John Bardcore signing off, saying so long and take care.